everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't heard already, the GMAT Focus Edition has a new section called Data Insights, replacing the former Integrated Reasoning section. It tests your ability to analyze data and make decisions based on it. If you visit the link in the description, you'll find that MBA.com provides an in-depth look into this new section. Before we continue, be sure to like and subscribe for more content about the GMAT focus and test prep tips. Now, let's dive into what this new section is all about. You'll find 20 questions in this section, each presenting a different data set in various formats. You might come across tables, graphs, charts, or even a combination of these, but don't be alarmed because we've got you covered. The first step to acing this section is familiarizing yourself with the types of data representations used. From bar and pie charts to scatter plots and tables, try to get comfortable interpreting these formats and extracting valuable insights from them. Remember, this section is not about testing your advanced advanced mathematical skills. Rather, it's about your competency in understanding and interpreting data, drawing conclusions, and making informed decisions. This is a critical skill set in today's data-driven business world. Data Insights Question Types Composed of 20 questions, this segment challenges you to assess how multiple sources and types of information, including graphic, numeric, and verbal, relate to one another and can be harnessed to reach well-grounded decisions. Some questions may require mathematical calculations, data analysis, verbal reasoning, or all three. To assist you in the process, you can use an on-screen calculator while working on this section. The questions are categorized into five main types. 1. Data Sufficiency These questions assess your ability to scrutinize a quantitative problem, recognize which information is pertinent, and decide at what point there is ample data to solve the problem. 2. Multi-Source Reasoning These questions measure your ability to examine data from multiple sources, which could be text passages, tables, graphics, or a combination of these. The task is to carefully analyze each data source to answer multiple questions. Some questions will demand you to recognize discrepancies among different data sources, while others will require you to make inferences or determinations of data relevance. 3. Table Analysis In these questions, you will need to sort and analyze a table of data akin to a spreadsheet to identify what information is relevant or fulfills certain conditions. 4. Graphics Interpretation These tasks measure your ability to interpret the information represented in a graph or other graphical image such as a scatter plot, XY graph, bar chart, pie chart, or statistical curve distribution. The goal is to comprehend relationships and make inferences. 5. Two-part analysis. These questions measure your ability to solve complex problems. These could be quantitative, verbal, or a combination of both. The format is deliberately versatile to cover a wide range of content. Here, your ability to evaluate trade-offs, solve simultaneous equations, and perceive relationships between two entities is tested. By understanding these question types, you'll be better equipped to tackle the data insights section of the GMAT. Remember to make use of of the resources available and practice consistently to master each type. Section Scoring Let's now dive into the specifics of the Data Insights Scoring Scale. The section consists of 20 multiple choice questions that you are expected to complete in 45 minutes. The score range for the Data Insights section is from 60 to 90. The score is determined based on three factors. One, the number of questions you answer. Two, whether your answers are correct or incorrect. And three, the difficulty and other parameters of the questions you answer. It's important to keep in mind that some questions may have multiple parts. To receive credit for such a question, all parts of the question must be answered correctly. So, that wraps up our introduction to the new Data Insights section of the GMAT exam. See you in the next video!